There's something magical about the fly on the water. Yeah. When you tie your own flies, um, and then you catch something on them, I mean that's that's the that's the cool part. Is uh, you know it's kind of like a competition. It's like yes, I got it. I built a couple fly rods. The first one was a. Uh, I built that back in about 1980, and it was a, a Loomis rod. I just bought it from a kit, built it in a kit. This is back when the, the early um, uh, graphite rods were just coming on the scene, so it was, it was pretty cutting edge at the time. You know, a lot of people think fly fishing is is the act of casting. You know, how do you cast the rod? Uh, that that comes pretty simple. It's uh, being able to place the fly in in whatever method you use to cast. The uh, the hardest thing to learn in fly fishing is how to put the fly where you need to catch a fish, and and understanding where the fish are when you're out on a stream, knowing how to read the water. And it's kind of mesmerizing. You know, you spend all day watching this fly on the water. And you're just waiting for those moments when that fish comes up and you see the, takes the fly. Or sometimes it's a, you know, it's this big splash. The old standby is a good old uh, stimulator uh, as a dry fly and then a little uh, bead head like a pheasant tail nymph for a dropper. Down on the Little Horn when I was a kid, we fished pretty much exclusively the muddler minnow. It was a stonefly invitation. Fly fishing, I think it's just an appreciation for simple things. I don't even have to catch fish. I do a lot more fishing than I do catching. I like the fishing part. <laughs>